All right, everyone. So I just found a video where you can use some school level physics to spot some bullshit in this video. So I'm going to play a video and you're going to try and spot the bullshit in the video. What if I tell you that if I burn this plastic in this furnace, it will give me clean fuel and also there would be zero emissions of poisonous gases. If burnt at right temperature, this can even create jet fuel. Is this a beginning of an end to our plastic disposal problems? I'll let the experts decide, but now I'm pretty confident that the mess created by us humans has a solution. Yeah, you better let the experts decide because clearly you're not one because of how mind-numbingly stupid it is what you just said. The question here should be, how can you burn something and get something that can be burnt again? Why is it that when you burn something, you get the smoke and ash, right? Why can't you burn the smoke and the ash again? Hmm. Hmm. Why? I'll tell you why. What is burning? Burning is combination with oxygen, chemical reaction with oxygen. So if you have something organic like petrol or uh, any petroleum product or paper or wood or coal or any organic compound, plastic, plastic is there derived from petroleum products. So there are organic compounds which are polymerized in plastic. So there are lots of CH bonds. There are other atoms also like sulfur, phosphorus, all these things. But CH bonds are the main ones. Now the C and the H what happens is they combine, they burn and they combine with oxygen and carbon becomes CO, carbon dioxide, CO2. And hydrogen combines with oxygen and becomes water, H2O. Those are lower energy bonds. And where does this lowering of energy, where does this extra energy go to? It gets released as heat and light. In other words, a fire, which is why it burns and it can be used as a fuel. Now, when you have the product of burning, when you have the ash and the smoke or whatever, the oxides are already formed. So what bond is there left where oxygen can come attach itself there? There are no bonds like that in ash and smoke, right? The products of burning are already oxides. How can oxygen recombine with those products after that point? They're already at the lower most energy level at the most stable state already. Another thing he spoke about in this video is about jet fuel. So burning at the right temperature definitely can't produce jet fuel jet fuel is a very high efficiency fuel one kilo of fuel gives a lot of energy as compared to other kinds of fuel when you have a lot of bonds which can combine with oxygen that's when it gives that kind of high efficiency fuel so how can burning produce that and uh, he said uh, burning does not give you poisonous gases of course, it gives you poisonous gases. If there are atoms of sulfur, phosphorus, nitrogen in the initial compound that you're burning, initial whatever it is that you're burning, then or their oxides, which may be toxic, are released in the smoke. It can be poisonous, right? So yeah, that's it. This is something you can tell for yourself if you paid attention in class. You haven't clearly. That's why you went around and made a video like this. I'm not saying more, um, I'll let uh, the audience decide. Tell me what you guys think. I'll see you in the next one.